Ibble South by Southwest Expert Showcase. I'm here with Holly Shannon, a top 2% podcaster, uh, host of the Culture Factor 2.0, and also author, Zero to Podcast. Um, just tell us a little bit about what you do, what you're up to. Uh, you're really in this an incredible space. Thank you. Um, well, I, I guess what came first would be the podcast. Um, Culture Factor was born a couple of years ago, um, and I've worked really hard to scale it. Yeah. Um, it's had um, different uh, topics that I've discussed over that time, um, but I've morphed the show to talk about um, emerging technologies like mm -hmm. NFTs and, and all those things in Web3 that nobody really understands. Um, the beauty part of it is I'm learning with my listeners. Um, I don't claim to be an expert on anything. Um, my goal is to break it down in really basic terms. So like, talk to me like I'm 10 years old. I'm totally OK with that. Um, and in the process, hopefully, we all get to see uh, do NFTs, do, uh, does the blockchain, does playing with cryptocurrency have any place in my life or my business or not at all? So I love it. And tell us about why a podcast? Mm -hmm. Why did you choose podcast as a, as a medium? So um, I started off actually creating the podcast as a pull marketing tool for businesses. Um, it's really amazing for bringing leads to your website. And so it was created first off talking about company culture from the C-suite. Um, as time went on, that particular podcast during COVID um, wasn't relevant enough unless I brought in emerging leadership that was struggling to figure out how to help the C-suite keep the business afloat fully remote. And so I did that for a while and it became very clear that there were three clear threads that came through. One was the gig economy, one was diversity, equity, and inclusion, and the third was mental health. And if I'm gonna work backwards from that, um, I felt that I wasn't a therapist and I didn't wanna trigger people and focusing my content and my conversations around mental health and not being a therapist made me nervous. Mm. Um, and the second tier of that, diversity, equity, inclusion, very important conversation, but I'm not in the HR area. And again, I think there's a lot of laws and different things um, about that. And I felt like I couldn't give that the deep dive that it needed because mm. I wasn't in that space. Mm. And the gig economy, I've had three successful businesses. Mm -hmm. um, I know all about um, entrepreneurship and how nonlinear that is. And I just felt like I could talk to people in the freelance and the creator economy. And in doing so, I realized that the creator economy also has this whole like a burgeoning enterprise of non-fungible tokens, um, Web3 conversation, blockchain, um, doing business on the blockchain. And I just felt like I needed to be there. I needed to be at the very beginning, an early adopter of this. So I started learning. Yeah. And I'm learning as I go. So every episode, be patient with me. I'm kind of clunking my way through it. like, But it's it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's really fascinating to learn how businesses can apply this new technology um, to what they're doing. So. And I think the distinction you made that's really important to note is that you're doing it, mm -hmm. that you're actually doing it. You're not claiming to be perfect in the space or anything like that, but you are doing it. And... I know you're helping other people do it. I am. Right? I so am. tell us a little bit about this book. Okay. So this book was born of the fact that I'm immensely curious. And I probably, if I could have five podcasts, I would. I just am a one woman. I, I don't have time to edit all that content. Um, but I'm insanely curious. And um, at one point, I thought I might not have this show anymore. And it might I might have to make another one. And then I said, oh. God, I spent all that time on YouTube University figuring it out. Um, so I went back to all my notes and I wrote myself a how-to guide. And in writing myself this how-to guide, I came out of it three months later and said, I gotta share this. Yeah. Like, I can't keep this to myself because 
I broke it down in like 60 pages. Like I'm all about building content. It's got to be like super efficient, not, you know, full of extra words. I don't embellish. I get to the point. So um, I wrote the book and I decided to, you know, share it with everybody and use it for myself whenever I need to go back and relearn how to edit something. So that's, that's such an incredible story. So where could our viewers today find you? What different modalities and, and where can they also uh, find the book? Okay, so my website is hollyshannon.com. And on there, I can um, help you build your own podcast either by you grab the book, do it yourself. I think it's like $14.99 on Amazon. Yeah. Um, or I work alongside you as you know your consultant. Um, or I just do it for you. And um, so I do that with businesses. Um, and that's part of the reason why I was here at South by because I was working with emerging leaders and, and businesses understand, um, the media industry and this particular technology of podcasting and, and how they can use it in their business. Okay, Holly. So I have to know, mm -hmm. you just mentioned South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. What has been your favorite moment so far? Oh, that's so unfair. This show rocks. <laughs> oh, my God. Where do I start? I've had a few. Can I speak more than one? Please. Okay. Please. So I just got out of the conversation with Mark Cuban, um, and he said, it's not ready, aim, fire. It's ready, fire, aim. And it's how I've always done business. I have always started business because I found myself super curious about something, and I just fired in, into the field. I didn't mm. aim everything and perfect, try and perfect things. I just dove right in. And I really love that. And I have to say, I, I secretly love the guy. I met him at another conference and he subscribed to Culture Factor. I've interviewed about three of his founders. So it was really mm. huge that he did that. Um, but I also really enjoyed Brene Brown and Priya Parker I hate to say this, I forgot her husband's name, but the three of them were on a panel and they were just talking about so many relevant things about um, life and how um, there's a lot of emotion that we feel and then there's the near enemy of that emotion. Like you might feel empathy, but at the same time that might be pity on the other side of it. And I just found it fascinating, and I love that I could be at a conference like South by Southwest, and I could be learning about business, and I could be learning about um, how to handle my own emotions and how to gather with people and talk with people. So it was it's pretty cool. Well, thank you for being here with us today. Your story is really special, and I just see you helping a lot of people break into these industries that can seem confusing and overwhelming, but you've created this pathway into them. So thank you for doing that. Thank you. I appreciate it, Johnny. Thank you for your time. This is really wonderful.